Hello, welcome to another Research Methods for the Biosciences screencast for SPSS. This screencast covers section 5.3, Summary Statistics. They say that a picture paints a thousand words, and this is why you should always plot a graph of your data. But in almost every report, we have to describe our data in words and figures, particularly when we are comparing data sets. To do this, we use a set of widely accepted concepts and statistics termed descriptive or summary statistics the most important of which are described in section 5.3 of the book. Many programs have a single command that will calculate these statistics for a data set. This screencast is going to show you how to do this using data from table 10.4 regarding the height of periwinkles on the lower shore. In most cases the programs will give you the mean, median, lowest and highest value and interquartile range along with variance, standard deviation and others. For skewness and kurtosis, see my screencast on Is my data normally distributed? So let's do the test. I've already entered the data from table 10.4 into SPSS. And this is how I've set the variable up. You may wish to pause the screencast at this point. To do the test, we track up to Analyze and click. A menu appears. We go down to Descriptive Statistics and a sub-menu appears. We track across to Explore and click. We wish to enter our variable in the dependent list. I select the variable and enter it into the dependent list using the selection arrow. I press OK. SPSS gives us several results, including these two boxes that detail the summary statistics for the dataset. I hope you found this screencast helpful. For further information on how to use this test, or the theory behind it, then please consult the book. More information on how to use the program to perform the test can be found in our online web guides located in the Resource Centre. Thank you for listening.